So in our previous video, we were able to pass this socials map and uh, pass a bunch of our social handles. And also in our home, we looped over it. In our home template, we looped over it. And that gave us the display of our social media handles, which was pretty cool. Now, in this video, we're going to be um, using slices. Now, so we passed maps. Now we're going to be passing a slice. We're going to pass in a slice. So to do that, I'm going to create another property inside this data struct and that is going to be features I'm going to go features and what features will do is just um, represent a bunch of features of whatever it is we are marketing or trying to sell on our website so what are the features of this app or this product or whatever it is we're selling so uh, let's say so we have features it's an array of strings um, sorry it's a slice of strings rather the size of strings and we come down here and we provide a value for it so we say features and features is a slice of strings and that slice of strings comprises of the following first our product is highly customizable so we say customizable products what else do we offer our customers uh 24 hour support yeah that would be cool 24 7 uh, customer support support having fat fingers here so support and um no not a dot yeah lastly our products are reliable and secure yeah reliable and secure then we give it a trailing comma so these are the features of our product our uh, vague product is highly customizable 24 7 support and is very reliable and secure so let's see how we can work with this inside our template yeah let's see how we can work with this inside our template now we're going to be using this features property this features data inside our body yeah we're going to be using it inside our body but it's not going to be in the body template we're just going to do it directly in the home template whatever works Whatever syntax works in the home template also works in uh, any other uh, template. So, but yeah, we just want to put it in the home template. So, let's say we come down here and uh, we have an H3 that says features, features, and um, that will also require a list. So, we want to display a list of our features. And just like we did with our map, we also use range. We also use range we we'll range over the features the feature slice let's end it let's end the loop so we we'll range over features and for each uh, cycle of the loop we create a list item create a list item and we we'll just display what the item is so inside here the item is the top level data so it's just a dot yeah here we are picking the features property but inside this loop whatever it's currently the item in the loop is the top level item so and we didn't it's 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 a slice it's not a map whereby we have key value or stuff so we just do dot and it gives us the primitive value because it's an array of strings if it was an array of uh Oh, God, I keep saying array because the slice of strings. If it, were, if it was a slice of a particular data type that has different properties inside, yes, then we can access different properties. Let's say it's a slice of, let's say, user types, and those user types have name or they have something like age or stuff, then you can, you can access it this way. But it's a slice of strings, primitives. So we just simply access those strings with this dot. Yeah, because it's not an object, it's a, it's a primitive so this should be good we have our features header and we have ranged over our features let's save this now uh, what does we have to do let's save main.go cool so let's just go to our server and restart it no errors pretty cool now to our browser now we should see a bunch of features here so if we refresh the page boom features yep features we have successfully passed in a slice and we've been able to loop over it just similar to how we looped over our map here and if we do a view page source all our html is intact yeah everything is displayed 
How awesome is that? So we keep learning about uh, Go templates and when we start working with HTMX, everything is just going to be smooth. That's what the purpose of this chapter is so that we get um, up to speed with Go templates so that we start when we start using it with HTMX, everything is just going to be smooth and straightforward. So that is working with slices. Next, we're going to be looking at how to use functions inside our Go template.